Thanks, John. New tonight, a historic landmark in Sandusky is slowly working toward reopening. This time last year, a severe storm tore through part of the Sandusky State Theater. Michael Tater has the impact of the storm and the progress of rebuilding. It's been very apparent throughout the last year how important the theater is to the community. Last June, the unthinkable. High winds tore through the Sandusky Theater, completely destroying the western part of the building and the stage. Right now we're in the auditorium of the theater. You can see the temporary wall behind us here that was put up to try and uh, protect the rest of the building from winter. The roof has been repaired, but there's still a lot more work to be done. The historic theater opened back in 1928 and has seen its fair share of talent. 93 years old, we've had entertainers like B.B. King, Shirley Temple, Willie Nelson, uh, Broadway shows. Downtown business owner and theater board member Ryan Whaley says there's definitely been a hole in the community since the theater closed. But it's hard to judge the impact because of COVID. Right now we're seeing this resurgence downtown, but you're definitely missing out. There's, you know, there is a group of people that they come for shows, they go to dinner, and that's missing. And I think we're looking forward to getting them back. Whaley says COVID has also taught them to be more prepared for the future. Should we have a problem again, or what do we do in the wintertime when it's slower around here? How can we make the theater impactful? So it really took a lot of lessons from, from this and using this as an opportunity more than anything else. Well, as you can see, there's still a lot of work to be done, but Chris believes with the pandemic winding down, when the theater does finally reopen to the public, there won't be an empty seat in the house. When that theater does open again, it's going to be just a great addition. One of the great things about the industry is it's what's going to help bring the economy back. In Sandusky, Michael Tater, WTOL 11.